According to Gately and Gately, in the beginning stages, teachers often play the roles of one is the boss, one is the helper. We just have our separate lessons. It's really not gelled together yet. The compromising stage when mini lessons, different strategies, different parts of the lesson are more coordinated. But what we're aiming for truly is a collaborative stage. But we have to recognize that this is not going to happen overnight. Just because you came to a three-day workshop and you have all the best intention, it's still a process. There is a trajectory for any two teachers or more teachers to truly become a collaborative team. And one more cartoon for you. It says, Norman won't collaborate. You will be meeting with teachers who might resist the idea of collaboration. And it's, there's always a Norman. <laughs> so how can we establish and then reflect on collaboration? Here is a list of questions for you to try. We're going back to the beginning of the circle. You could use questions like this to reflect if you're already in the middle of a partnership, before you begin a partnership. But that shared vision, we keep coming back. And being able to describe it with precise language. How do we envision? Do we see eye to eye when it comes to establishing that collaborative partnership? This is what I learned from a teacher who was actually a library teacher working with 680 children in an elementary school. She said the first few weeks, she wastes time to save time. She meticulously goes over the rules and, and the processes in the library, and she teaches every detail of what her expectations are in the library before she even gets to the library piece. So I learned this phrase from her that I waste time to save time. So this seems like, again, another bunch of questions and reflecting and talking. Why don't we just get to teaching already? I hope you agree that some of these skills have to be developed and time has to be invested into a relationship. Just like anything, relationship with your friends, with your significant others, children, parents, we spend time together to build that partnership and relationship. So you could, you could use these questions. You could create your own questions and find plenty of questions in chapter eight. Now we promised you that we're gonna show you some of our favorites. This is one. Uh, can somebody find what page this is on? It's an abbreviated version of a self-assessment checklist. It's in chapter eight. Please notice that every statement begins with the word we. So it's not about finger pointing, you and I. It's about, are we there yet? Is it 160? Thank you. And as indicated on this chart, on the screen, you could chunk it. If you feel overwhelmed by any of these tools, to even reflect on so many questions, we wanted to model for you, well, just look at a few questions at a time. Think about incremental implementation and not to be too hard on yourselves. So let's just, let's just work on a few goals. Are we there yet with these targets? Just like language acquisition, you're not going to teach everything in English in day, on day one. So the same is true for partnership building. But my personal favorite, and I think by now my colleagues share that passion for this tool as well, is the two plus two. So we're going to try this out. And you're going to have to forgive us, or maybe not, you will thoroughly enjoy this. We simply Googled YouTube for bad co-teaching. <laughs> so you're going to see a one minute. I don't take credit for this. But you see 17,000 people have already watched this. Can we pause it just for a second? Or go back? Maybe? Oh no, it went back to a different clip. Because it's now a six minute clip. Oh my gosh, sorry. Oh, here we go. No, no, not that one. <laughs> That's really bad. So all you have to do is just Google bad co-teaching. You will find them. Here we go. This is the one we want to show you. But you want me to stop? Yes. Please. 
in the middle, the pause, the pause button. Yeah. And if we could enlarge it. Thank you. And then I can give you a task. Good. So the task is going to be, we're going to practice the 2 plus 2 formula. So imagine that you are the co-teacher who is off camera. You will not be on this clip. Only your co-teacher is secretly filmed. There she is, coming into the screen in a moment, into the view at a moment. And your job is to formulate two compliments you could give this teacher as a peer, and two suggestions in a way that it wouldn't sound like you're the boss and you're telling them what to do. So how would you handle this situation using the two plus two formula? Are you ready? This is your last real cool challenge here. Sound is up. was it? At your tables, two minutes, what would be your two plus two for this colleague? 